Okay, see if you guys can work this out. Again, uh, like, in, like in the previous video, the probability of it raining on any given day is 0.2. The probability of it snowing is 0.1. Of it being sunny, 0.3. And uh, normal, 0.4. Uh, let's say my, my niece likes, uh, likes the snow. Uh, what is the probability of it being, uh, of it snowing at least once on three consecutive days? So for example, let, let's say, uh, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, what is the probability of it raining at least, what's not, sorry, what is the probability of it snowing at least once? So what, so, um, so this would be a good outcome here. Let, let's say rain. Uh, snow, snow. So this would be a, a good outcome here because she's she's got the snow on at least uh, on, on at least one of the three days. So this would be a good outcome. Snow, snow, snow. Um, this uh, let, let's say normal uh, rain and sun. This would be a bad outcome because that, there's no day that 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 that, that, that there's no snow at all on on, on any of the three days. So she she wants to be able to play in the snow at least one uh, at least once out of the three days. So somehow work out the probability of her playing being able to play in the snow or at least once. So remember it could be uh, it could be snow snow and normal. So this is a good outcome because she's got at least she's got at least once. So work again draw a map of all the things that could happen. Um, and then, um, and then try and work it out. Maybe you could be cunning, like, um, for example, you, you could say, uh, well, on your first day, it could rain, it could snow, it could be sunny, it could be normal. Well, maybe you can merge these three together. Uh, maybe you can just draw like this. On your first day, it could snow, so this would be a good outcome. Good. And then the rest, merge these three together and call, call, call it bad or something. Okay, bad. So th this here represents your good day, and um, and and on your second day it could be uh, good, uh, and then bad, and and so on. Or, or or you could draw a map of all the things, but it could be complicated. What well, what's up to you? If you're cunning, then if if you want to be cunning, mer merge these um, merge the rain, uh, the sun, and the and the normal together, and just just call it bad. Uh, the three, well, anyway, it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, just, just somehow work out the probability of it snowing at least once on three consecutive days. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so, um, let, let's, let, let, well, I'm, I'm gonna merge the rain, the sun, and normal together and call it, uh, bad. Okay, so bad, good. So the probability of it being good so, so on my first day, it could be a, a good day. Remember, we define good as, as good is defined as being snow. Uh, so, so not, not 0.1 would be good. And the rest would, well, get this, add this, add this. It's actually not point, not point 0.9. Okay. And then on the second day, it could be a good day or it could be a bad day for my niece. So, uh, so this would be a uh, bad, good here. So good would be, Snow, okay, um, uh, and and then uh, and then well, well down here it would be good, bad, and and then and then this branches out even further. So good, uh, bad, and then this one here would be good because uh, we've got three days here. This represents our first day. This represents our our second day. This represents our third day. So bad here. Um, so uh, good, uh, bad, and then we've got good again, and then bad. Okay. Um, re remember, she she just wants to be able to play in the snow at least once. Now, at least once. So so we could have bad, bad, and good. So this is a good outcome. We could have bad, good, bad. So this is a good outcome. We could have a uh, good, bad, bad. We could have good, bad, good. We could have good, good, bad, and we could have good, good, good. Okay. So what well, actually is is everything else apart from bad, bad, bad. 
So, so we could, um, well, you, you could get all these branches and add, you, you could work out the probability of this, good, good, good. So that, that would be 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.1. You basically, you could work out all these branches and then add, add up, add up all these branches here, add them all up. But, um, a better way would be, well, you know, if you add up all the branches, it comes to one. Just accept that. If, if you add up all the branches, it comes to one. Because we've, in effect, drawn a map of all the things that could happen. Now, the probability of going down, well, well, well if you add up all the routes, it, sh it must, it must be one because you've got to head down one route. So anyway, just accept that if you add up all the branches, it comes to one. Now, the only bad branch, well, well, all the branches are good. Because, um, well, it, 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 remember, bad, if you have bad, good, bad, uh, good, uh, so bad, good, bad, well, this is a good outcome because she's got, she's got one day, that's good, one day, that snows. So this is a good outcome. Well, the only bad one, well, well, this branch here, bad, 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 is the only one that's, that's, um, that, that we don't want. So you could get one, take away the probability of, of, of this branch here. So r rather than adding up all these branches here, it takes, it would take ages. I'm just gonna get one. Well, I'm just gonna work out this branch here, which is, hang on. So let, let's start again. So I'm just gonna work out this branch here. Probability of bad, bad, bad equals 0 0.9 times 0 0.9 times 0 0.9. Because we need this, we need bad, and bad and bad so and if, if there's an and and you have to times if there's an or you add so we need bad and bad and bad so every time you go down a branch it you you have the times okay so this this becomes uh hang on calculator so clear 0 0.99 times 0 0.9 times uh, 0 0.9 equals, uh, 0 0.729. Okay. So, so this is a, this branch here is the probability of you getting, um, well, well, this branch here is 0 0.729. Now all, so, so all we have to do is get one, take away, um, take away, uh, 0 0.729. To nine, and that should equal the the probability of of a snow um, at least uh, at least once on on three consecutive days. Okay, so so uh, if, if, yeah, so so one take away this equals uh, the probability of it snowing at least once on three consecutive days. So now, just get one take away there. Um, so calculator, uh, clear. So one take away, take away 0 0.729 equals um, 0 0.271. So that, so, so the, pro so, so the probability of, um, blah, 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 blah here. The probability of it snowing at least once on three consecutive days. It's given by this. Okay. But the, um, to try and do this here, get, rather than adding up all these branches, just, just, um, well, you know, all the branches added together equals one. Well, just get one, take away this, this branch here. Bad, bad, bad. Well, anyway, the answer is given by, uh, by this. Okay.